Hi, my name is Mark, and today I'd like to answer a question using these POV glasses. Uh, Pete had a really good question about seeing the world as himself. So I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to uh, explain what I call a trionistic model of reality. Um, so going back to my first picture, what I was trying to demonstrate in this picture is that there's three aspects uh, to our experience that we're always having, whether we know it or not. Um, you have the manifest in front of you, the unmanifest behind you, and yourself as a focal point of perception in the center. Um, what I tried to show with my second picture, with the leaves, was that <clears throat> these are not three different things, yet three different aspects of the same thing. So if we start with the leaf, what I was trying to express in this picture was that uh, the leaf represents awareness. That's all there is. Everything that exists, everything that we see, experience, um, would be awareness. And uh, the nature of awareness is to be aware. And since there's nothing else but awareness, awareness would have no choice but to become aware of itself. So this power of attraction to itself would create this fold, this, this, um, this bend, this invagination, this uh, uh, vortex, if you will. So from the bending, from the power of attraction to itself, you get the appearance of two. So now awareness experiences itself as something else. So you have three different aspects. You have what it is, what it does, and what it appears as. It appears as something different. So since the book, I found actually a better diagram to express how the one appears as many, and that would be the famous light spectrum picture uh, that you see on the Pink Floyd album. Um, so anyway, so this one explains the same thing, but better what I was trying to convey with the leaves. Um, you have light that could represent awareness. Light is all there is. Um, undifferentiated white light, and the nature of the light is to bend. Again, we're using light as an uh, uh, analogy to awareness. So all there is is awareness. The nature of awareness is to bend into itself. So the result is undifferentiated light appears as the light spectrum. Um, the light spectrum is the light, but it appears as the um, uh, multi, multifaceted as opposed to um, uh, undifferentiated. Okay, and it, it's important to point out uh, the obvious, which is that when we experience the world, we only experience the light spectrum part. Um, we don't experience the undifferentiated light and the bending of the light. What we experience is the light spectrum. But as we know, the light spectrum itself is the white light bending. That is what we're looking at. So the best way to convey um, what it actually is to experience the world as yourself is the picture that I had in my book. Um, uh, let's see here. Well, the, the picture that I have in the book is this. This is what I was trying to convey um, when I was talking about seeing the world as yourself. I wanted to originally go with this picture because I wanted the reader to experience it uh, as he was reading the book. So if you look out right now at your experience, um, everything that you're seeing is actually you. And what I was trying to convey with this picture is that as I am sitting, the feeling that I have when I look at the world is the same feeling that I have when you look down at your legs. It feels like it's your body. We have what's called a preoccipital sense, and it's one's overall sense of the body, uh, the sense of the weight, of the body position, the movement, uh, the basic orientation. Um, what I see is that when I look at the world, it appears, it feels, the experience is, is that that is me. Just as when you look at your legs, what I was trying to experience is that when I look out at the world, it feels as though those are my legs, those are my feet, that's my body. Um, 
And as I said before about the precipital sense, it's not as if, as if a deer walked across the uh, mountain, I would feel a little tickle on my belly. What I'm talking about is the overall sense of one's body, or, or sense of orientation, or sense of um, uh, being, a physical weight feeling. So, um, and I think there's a way that that uh, that you could practice that. My my feeling is that everybody has this experience, and um, we're just not aware of it. So I think that if anybody practices the backing up meditation, where you back up your attention to acknowledge, to recognize that the that you are the space for these contents. Right now, the contents being my shoes, the uh, chair, the deck, the mountains. Um, <clears throat> I think that if you back up your attention the bird in the sky, if you back up your attention uh, and notice that you're the content, that you're the space for everything that you see for the world, um, then after you practice that, then if you just look out and you notice the world, I think you'll uh, experience the same thing that, that I'm describing. And I think the best way to practice this, maybe the only way to practice this, is to spend as much time as you can getting to know the still aspect of yourself, the undifferentiated aspect. And the more you practice that, I think the more that you'll notice that when you look at the world, if you drop, this, if you drop your thoughts, you drop the sense of self, you drop everything, you'll just notice that there's just this. Just this, the sound of the dog barking, the sound of the river. Uh, sound of the car in the distance, the sights, the feeling. You'll notice that there's just this. There's no you, there's no world. There's just this. And this is what's appearing. And that, for me, is more important important or more more to the point than seeing the world as yourself it's more to the point to say that all there is is this and that's it thank you